Welcome to Streets 993, your choice for hip hop and RB. I am your host, Adriana, the personality. Y'all, today's guest is a multi platinum producer responsible for Summer's Anthem by the City Girls, California Throw Off and Smile by Lil Duval. Y'all, we welcome Mr. Hanky to the street. How are What's you? What's happening? What's happening? Happy to be here on the streets. As you see, I'm out in the streets, so it's only right. You feel me? What what, what what you got going on on this hump day? Uh, you know, uh, in between working, getting ready to drop some more singles, uh, getting ready to drop my new single with Erica Banks called Nutty Twerk. Okay. Uh, I just did a summer walker uh, remix called uh, with, uh, The White Tea Record. Okay, right. okay. And I just got a whole bunch of other stuff going on with like Kissy Lee, uh, a lot of other independent artists. Uh, we got a record with Tory Lanez and Jack Police coming out soon, so I'm working. Mr. Hanky is in the streets and he is out working. Well, we appreciate your time today, and we won't take too much of it. So, so just getting to the to, to the basics, to the very beginning. Um, tell us why you know you why beats. Like, what's your personal connection to this craft? Uh, it just kind of happened uh, mainly because I used to be a DJ as well, and um. While I was DJing, I actually knew what people, you know, as a, you know, you're doing parties, you kind of learn what makes people move, what, right. you know, gets excited. And so from there, it just kind of translated when I was making beats for me and my homies. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just doing it for us, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, after a while, people was like, hey, I like that, I like that. So I was like, oh, for real? Mm -hmm. And I found out I got paid for it, so I just went for it. Right, so at what point did you know that you had a, or you had, uh, like a, a an ear for people like the beats that you created was something that the masses wanted to hear versus it just being for your you know your crowd your homeboys around you in the clubs i mean mainly uh when i would do things it would probably be like i want to say this is like 06 07 um i did a song for the cadillac boys called never slipping mm -hmm. the cadillac local group out of macon georgia mm -hmm. that was music um, and D-Lo Entertainment at the time. Uh -huh. And I, kind of the song just kind of took off on its own. And I really seen nothing like that before. So at that point, I was like, okay, well, let me keep going. And I started working with Soldier Boy, then uh, Travis Porter, then J Money, just all the, you know, I just started working with everybody. Uh -huh. And I was like, they really, you know, really rock what I'm doing. For sure, for sure, for sure. So you are an HBCU graduate. Yep, the Southern University. Okay, okay, shout out to them. How do you feel, or if you do feel, uh, you know, the HBCU culture and experience contribute, contributed to your sound? Uh, that's a huge, huge, huge part of it. Like, my experience of Southern is so huge with this whole thing. It's like, um, you know, just meeting people from different areas. Mm -hmm. You know, black well, me being from Atlanta, Mm -hmm. being from, a lot of times, you know, you get used to one sound or, or one type of thing, but right. from there, that sudden I learned about bounce music, mm -hmm. uh, learned about, that's from New Orleans area, mm -hmm. and I learned about the whole bit from like the Baton Rouge area. I met people from Houston, so I learned about DJ Screw, the whole, you know, all that whole movement, and then I met people from Cali, I learned about music from their area, because you know, I was DJing, yeah. so they would be stuff and I'd be like what is this then yeah. everybody from Cali would be going crazy to the whole hypey thing um and ironically that's how I learned about you know songs like percolated from people from like Detroit uh Baltimore Chicago that whole Midwest Indiana area you know so I learned about that whole thing so it was so college, weird. college yeah, definitely it's... made you a well-rounded producer and DJ as far as like getting all the different sounds under one house that's exactly. amazing. So, exactly. so. I just learned how to make them all work, you know? Yeah, yeah. So as a multi-platinum producer, what do you feel a, a artist needs to be successful in, you know, today's industry? Uh, the main thing is just really being open to the changes that's going on, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I just said, like, the world is so, the world is still huge, but it's still very small mm -hmm. right now uh, because of social media. Right. So you really got to tap in with social media and um, and do those things. So just really being open and not getting caught up on your own hype. 
you know, that's the biggest thing. Mm, not get, I love that, not getting caught up on your own hype. Now tell us, yeah. you know, uh, some ingredients you feel an individual needs to be a successful producer. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Like take myself for instance, um, you know, I, I got a lot of big records going on right now. And people always, you know, they say, well, how you keep it going? I don't really get caught up in, you know, the celebration part of what's going on, you know, the record right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Percolator's done. The minute it comes out, I'm on to the next one. Right. You know, I'm interviews, I post it, and all this other stuff, but I'm already loading up with like 10, 12 other hits, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. working with artists. And the biggest thing is you got to show up to this thing like it's still the first day. Right. You know, you can't show up like, well, I'm here, I'm that person, I'm this and that third. You know, y'all y'all owe me something. The game don't owe you nothing, right. you know what I'm saying? So you just gotta really clock in every day like it's your first day. And um, even if you got a million dollars in your pocket, $10 in your pocket, you still gotta go in. Right, right. I love that, I love that encouragement. Cause like, it's like you said, you know, people do get caught up into the hype, you know, we get this, like nowadays people are getting quick fame, you know what I'm saying? You have to, get with it quickly, you know, the TikTok influencers and, you know, our Instagram influencers. So, you know, getting that information or I guess getting that, that um, offering up that, you know, to let somebody know who is doing something big in the industry each and every day, you know, it's important to not get caught up in that. So I appreciate that. Um, So since you ain't getting caught up in all the names you done dropped, tell us some other artists, you know, you would buy working with or, you know, you look forward to working with. Oh man, I got uh, I got some stuff in the works with like Dream Doll. Okay. You she know, just a- got signed, I, I I I believe. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff in the works, like like Holland Star, uh, my artist Kissy Lee. I've been working with her for a minute. Yeah, um, so. Ladies in R and B. Yeah, yeah, just a lot of different younger acts. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, reaching back out. Oh, I got a record coming out with Travis Porter. Okay. Uh, the hit with uh, Erica Banks. Just gonna so go crazy. What, give us that day. Drop that at least on the streets, Miss Bank. You gotta give us some exclusive. Tell me it's coming out in September, so that's all I know. But I'm dropping my other single with Erica Banks soon called Nutty Twerk. I'm just waiting on the paperwork to come all the way back in. Okay. That's gonna be, I mean, I'm just, like I said, it's just so many records. And I don't wanna jinx myself, so that's why I don't wanna say you too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but please believe it, the minute they get done, I'm gonna call you. Please. And send us here at the streets. We want. We need. We need the tracks. We need the singles. Uh, matter of so. fact, matter of fact, when we get out of here, hit me on Instagram. I'm gonna see. You, I'm gonna see you in the exclusive. Okay. Say less, y'all. We're gonna get a an exclusive from Mr. Hanky right here on the streets. We thank you so much, Mr. Hanky, for your time here at Streets 993. We always like to host the space for our guests to manifest and call things into their lives. So in the next three months. Give us one thing, and it has to be a miracle-sized thing that you would like to call in and manifest for yourself. Uh, basically, man, the next three months, I want to break a superstar. I want to, I want to, you know, I got a lot of big artists with artists who are records with artists who are already here, mm-hmm. but I want to about it here in the next three months. Mm. I think it means more. Uh, it's a yes. lot special, you know, seeing something really manifest from 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 the ground up. So, three months. Y'all gonna hear something big. It's either gonna be me or another artist, but somebody gonna be a superstar in so three months. So it is, we're gonna come back to this video and be like, he said it. Tell us how we can keep up with you on all social media platforms and how we can continue to uh, buy, get, in some, get in on some beats as well. Oh man, just hit me up on all social media at a Mr. Hanky Beat, A-M-R-H-A-N-K-Y-B-E-A-T. Uh, I work with all independent artists too, man. So, you know, just hit me up. We'll really, you know, I really make it a real hit for you. And I'll show you how to do this thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, that was Mr. Hanky right here on Streets 993. Hey. Hey.